Hello, everybody. Welcome to church. Oh, happy Pentecostal day. I hope you know it's Pentecost. Why are we celebrating this uh, today? It's an old Jewish holiday or, or celebration where, where they would celebrate the first fruit of their harvest. And then the good old Christians, they took it over. And they celebrate the first fruits of salvations coming in. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is actually when the church was born. So it would actually be better to say, Happy birthday, church. But, but we have to remember, it's not just a celebration. But it's a fest. But, but it's, a, it's a, a, a reminder. We're celebrating something, but we must be reminded of what we're celebrating. And so when I was asked to preach about Pentecost, I instantly went into, into prayer saying, Okay, God, how do you want me to preach about this? What is it that you want me to communicate? And this phrase came instantly in my head. Holy of holies. Oh no. That sounds so old-fashioned and weird, Manuel. What about those that are not Christian listening to City Church's live stream? This message is for you as well. Holy of holies. This basically just means that we have perfection beyond perfection in us. I'll be the first to say that I am the least perfect person. But I have the perfect of perfect inside of me. And so the Holy of Holies uh, was first brought up in the Old Testament. And it was the place where God's presence came down. And only certain people were able to come into this presence and they were only able to come into it once a year. And, and this person was called the high priest. And, and, and they would go into this uh, holy of holies where God's presence was. For the forgiveness of sins for the people, for the nation. But he had to do something to make sure that he was pure before he went in there. And if he didn't, he would fall flat down dead because he was in peer trying to come into a peer environment. In fact, they used to tie a, a rope around the ankle with bells. And so if the priest came in and, and was not peer in God's eyes, and, and, and fell flat down, if anyone else would try and come in to take the body, they would fall flat down too because they were impure. <laughs> so they got wise and they got a rope, so if they heard the bells ring, then they would just pull the body out. <laughs> but then when Jesus came and died for all of our sins, the curtain was torn that uh, separated the, the, the part of the temple that was called the Holy of Holies. Uh, and this was just another statement of saying, uh, you can enter into my presence whenever you like. Because that presence is not something that you have to necessarily always go to, but it is also in us. Thanks to the gift of the Holy Spirit that was given to you. To those that, that choose to believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Okay, so Holy of Holies in us. What, what, what does the Bible say about it? 
Hvad siger bøllet om det? And, and why do we need to know about it? I'm glad you asked. Glad for the sport. Frank, you're going to read a couple of scriptures. And I'm going to explain them. First one is Hebrews 10:19. Hebrews brave tutche no chance yes. Vita as vit no brother we blow Jesus her have a derby affair in the halte domen som har vukt jag och nöt jag och levande vär jag och för henne till hållt hans era. So because of Jesus and what he did for us, so orsak att som Jesus gjorde för jag och we have free access to uh, the presence of our heavenly father. Så ser på frukt in till närvaro Guds himmelsens fäder. And I'll explain why we need that later. Det ska fortälla sig att ni får det bruk för dig. Second uh, passage, and this is 1 Corinthians 3, verses 16 and 17. Det är sett när jag fyrer grunt på 3, 16 och 16. Vidare det inte att det är tempelgods och ett andra gods som bor ut i kom. Och är nu näka tempelgods ska god och ge han, då tempelgods är hejlagt och tär i det tid. Så the temple used to be a place, and now it's a person, us. Fyrer vi att tempel är ett ställe, nu är det en person och en människa till vit. And God's presence has chosen to make this person, this person and you a holy of holies to live and dwell in. Och Gud har valt att göra handa personen, handa personen och te till att alla, alla har lärt sig plås så han kan vara och bygga i. You know what else I like about this passage? Vad ska man ta med om det här? You know, I, I'm an ex-gangster. I don't know if you know what that means. Jag har varit fyra av de banda, banda limer. And if anybody was was attacking or beating up one of my friends from my gang, we would uh, go and get back at those people for messing with anyone from our gang family. So for vid after at the time was with a Josh in the God, he's getting gangster here. He says, if anyone tries to destroy you, my temple, temple, <laughs> I'm gonna destroy them. So ska jag lägga tag. This is a supernatural battle we're talking about here, but it's still gangster. We talk about even not only three here, but so 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 you got these two scriptures that are going to hopefully help bring a red line through what I'm talking about today. Here's the best scripture in the school of own on the yacht book and the finna and the ray and throughout this we're going to talk about there. Okay, so Pentecostal, the 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 Pentecostal traditional preach. Vanliga tar vi prata om kvitsonne. I don't know about you, but when I grew up, I I heard a certain. Uh, a certain traditional preach about this topic. And they would always and they would always say that after Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples they were hiding in a room, scared, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come and empower them. So But that is absolutely wrong. The disciples were not even the least bit scared. In fact, they had already received the Holy Spirit. We read at the end of the book of John that Jesus, he breathed on his disciples and they received the Holy Spirit. And then we read at the, uh, at the end of the book of Luke that after, the, the, after Jesus ascended and told them to go into Jerusalem to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit, it says that they were so full of joy that they went back to Jerusalem singing and worshiping and they were in unity or one accord praying. So, so they were already excited. They were already full of joy. They already had Holy Spirit living in them. But what I can see here, they're like, okay, we've already experienced Holy Spirit and we're just like full of joy and we're in unity. We've seen so much supernatural. In fact, we saw Jesus just descend into heaven and disappear. And then he says we're going to experience even more of this. Oh, I can't wait. So they were in that room waiting full of joy and expectation of what more they were going to experience with Holy Spirit. Exciting times. Very exciting times. The first exciting thing that I notice here is when they received 
Holy Spirit. Jesus, when he was talking to Nicodemus, one of the Pharisees and teachers, Jesus, han sig Nicodemus, han var och lärare, you can read the dialogue they had in John 3. He said, no one can enter heaven unless they are born from above or born again. You must be born of spirit and water. And this was a picture of what we call today salvation. How many of you remember your salvation story? I remember it like it was yesterday. Have you ever seen Little House in the Prairie? There's this wonderful white chapel that they would go to for church and school in this TV series. We had the exact replica at this Bible school that I was going to. And I remember coming into this chapel and I was fresh off the streets from my drug addiction and that type of lifestyle. I was broken, but I was also defense. Uh, I, was, I was full of defense. And everyone around me was worshiping God and they were all into it. And I was like, God, I don't want to be like these freaks. They, they are weird. But if you want me, then show yourself to me. And so I kid you not, the next worship song that came on, he showed up. His presence overwhelmed me. And, and, and it wasn't a joy that came over me. It was a, a type of, I'm home again. It was like I had been running from him for so long. And I turned around. And he was actually right there. And I was so broken. And I could just feel him just, just hold me tightly. And all I can say was, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I said it hundreds of times that night. That was my salvation experience. You might say, well, Manuel, I didn't have that type of radical salvation experience. But what you can do right now is celebrate that you are saved. You can say, wow, God has preserved me all this time. He has kept me all this time in his arms. You can celebrate your first love. Whenever I think of that night when I said, Jesus, I am yours and you are mine. I get so excited. And then the second thing that I see that we can get excited for is the empowerment, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And you can read about it in, in, in the book of Acts. And this was for everybody. This is for everybody. This is for you and me. We can get baptized over and over and over again with Holy Spirit. And here's the thing to remember. You're not getting more of Holy Spirit. But you're enjoying him more. Because the fullness of Holy Spirit is in us already. But we're like, wow, I didn't know that about you, Holy Spirit. And then you get excited and you feel like you get more of him. And that's what the disciples experienced. Holy Spirit was already in them. But then he came in a whole new level and revealed himself in a whole new way to them. 
Oh, we can do that. Ja, vi kunne göra det. Okay. So they went straight on and said, <laughs> "You all need Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit." Så kunde det prata att hur bruk för Jesus är och hela andras kraft. And we can do that too. I can remember in Bible school I was already saved. I had Holy Spirit in me already. But we were learning about all the things that Holy Spirit can empower us to do. And I was like, I want some of this. I want more of this Holy Spirit. And so we had this guest speaker come into one of our, our, our chapel nights. And just to tell our combined affair. And he was talking about, he was preaching about being uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And he says, if, it, if uh, anyone has not been baptized in the Holy Spirit, come forward and we'll pray for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Good old-fashioned being laid, hands laid on, and being filled with the Holy Spirit type. And so, of course, I said, well, I want some of this, so I went forward. Nothing happened. Everyone was falling and laughter and speaking in different tongues and just like, ah! <laughs> but you know what? I didn't get mad. I was like, All right, God, I guess it's not my time. So I went back to my chair humbly and trying to just find some joy and like celebrate other people. And then the, 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 the preacher he said if anyone came forward for prayer and nothing happened come forward again. What have I got to lose? So I went forward again. I saw his hand begin to come out to me. And I was coming right, you know, like that slow motion. I was getting close to the hand, my face, you know. And boom, I fell straight to the ground without even trying. And I could not stop laughing for hours that was just full of joy. And I kid you not, I have never been the same again. And you might say, that's weird. That's okay. Because my weirdness will introduce you to the Jesus that has loved you since the beginning of time. So if the disciples were excited about this stuff, so om lärarna var spända på det här. What can we be excited for? Vad kan vi vara spända på? A type of excitement that fills us with joy, like the disciples. Like oss fyller och glädje, akkurat som lärarna är. A type of excitement that brings us into unity, one accord, like the disciples. En glädje som 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 sammanrakon, vi är en och jästa, akkurat som lärarna är. What can we do to dive into this type of excitement? By not just celebrating today, but remembering what we have because of what we celebrate. See, Holy Spirit, He does a work in us and around us. And I always say, if you want to know Jesus' personality while he was here on earth, then you can uh, go and read what the fruit of the Spirit is. Because what Holy Spirit does into us instantly when he comes in lives in us is he renews us. We become a renewed creation. Second Corinthians 5:17. It says that we are a renewed creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And all of this is from God through Christ. Jesus. So we instantly we become a renewed creation. Now it's our job to enjoy this journey of understanding what it means to be a renewed creation. Because God, he looks at you and me 
The Bhutika Teramer finished. To full just holy. To high lover, perfect. Full common, his children. Hansarabat, a royal priesthood. Anything good that you can think of, multiply it by one billion, and that's what he thinks of you. Already. And all we have to do is journey on understanding and living in that and proclaiming it. And so with that renewness, we get a renewed attitude. Uh, the Bible says that we should have the attitude of Christ. The mind of Christ. The personality of Christ. So then we go to the fruit of the Spirit. And, and the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Good job, Frank. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, Manuel, I definitely don't love like Jesus loves. But I promise you this. If you are in Christ and Christ is in you, you are loving better than you did yesterday. And every day you get to have a new revelation of this fruit in you. And it becomes more and more by Christ's love for you. Because he's in you. The fullness of him is in you and me. Enjoy it. Tap into it. And share it. Which brings me to the second part. He does a work together with us. And around us. See, one of the, the exciting, you might want to call it a job, but the exciting things that we get to do with God is that we get to reveal the kingdom of God. Let me put it in simpler terms. We get to reveal the Jesus that created everything. The Bible says that we are ambassadors for Christ. So everything that is heavenly, that's in us, we get to represent like we are the leader of that country. An ambassador of a country speaks on behalf of that country that he's an ambassador for. And that ambassador was entrusted by the leader of that country, the president or the whatever leadership name they have. Because that ambassador, that person was trusted to not only know all the laws, but to know the culture because they've lived in it and they are from it. So we get to reveal the kingdom of God because not only is it in us, but we are citizens of it and because we are born from it. We are God's children. We are brothers of Jesus. We are co-laborers with him. So we get to reveal the awesomeness of the kingdom to the people around us that have never experienced it yet. So we can avoid some manage because of fantastic the conquer which it goes through here for the managers which you can other. That's kind of fun. He knocks us been on it. At least I think so. Tell the echoes is where I get to go all over the world. They can if it's other there now and represent Jesus. So um boy here. Yes. I remember my dad said that when I was little pop must say it ever do it when first when I was two years old someone came to him in church and said, your son will preach the gospel to the multitudes. My dad said, well, that's fine. He can't even talk yet, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was about seven years old, totally different church, a person came up to my dad 
PowerPoint and said your son will preach the gospel to the multitude the same exact phrase so see yes and now akka da sama sono tuin ska pratika evangelia for nikon folk and after giving my life back to jesus u efter i har jim och liv efter jesus i've had the privilege and honor so i have to forrat och ta ära to share my testimony att luta mot vittnesbörd to preach the gospel a pratika evangelia to help uh, transform societies av vi vill bröta samhälle and all over the world. Wow. Wow. Little Mexican American me. Little Mexican American me. Yeah. Ex drug addict. I should be dead. Jag skulle vara död. I should be in jail. Jag skulle vara fångad. I'm not worthy of this. Det är inte värt det. It's not about what I think. Det är inte om att jag har det. It's about what he knows. Det är om det som han vet. About you and me. Om te och mig. And so we get to be ambassadors of a kingdom that is like no other. Och tror att vi ett umbo att rycka som inte är som näka annan. All because bära tror Holy Spirit lives in you and me. Har det ant en bor det här och mer. And finally, what land ants we get to live a holy of holies life. Så kommer vi leva att liv och det allra helgaste. You know I love that Paul he never wrote to the churches like this. Paulus skrev om Gud så där sant kom där. To the sinners of Ephesus. To the sinners of Ephesus. <laughs> he never wrote that way. So I on it. He wrote to the saints. I give it to the high love of Ephesus. We Ephesus. Saints meaning holy ones. Yeah, the high love. He communicated and talked to them. How to say with they through the finished work. We just want to full your diversity. We are holy ones. Vit är ju hela in his eyes we hans eye you because of the Jesus Holy Spirit that lives in us för grund av Jesus och hela andan som bor i oss the bible says that we are to be a light we don't see that we should be a ljus not a reflector of the light it should act at inte skinna ljus någon but the light men ljus because the light lives in us to ljus lever i oss it says in the bible that holy spirit and our spirit has unified as one we don't see hela andan Det är samma sak om det Kristus. Därför vi kan bli the light, du kan bli vår ljus, the city on the hill, en byer och en fjälle. What does the Bible say? Kan se Bibeln. Who would light a lamp and then put it underneath a basket? Kvar tända ljus och kolla under en aspan eller skeppena. Only a pyromaniac. <laughs> det är också som ska skifta sig någon. No, you put it up so that it shines and brightens up the whole place around you. And another wonderful thing that we become in this holy of holy lives. Is that we become a place of worship. You see in the olden days they went to a place to worship. But Jesus said when he was talking to this this lovely lady a Samaritan woman. The Jesus say you to to us a Samaritan woman. There come a time the chamber to you'll be able to worship anywhere in spirit and in truth. Ta dig hon till dig kvar som helst och anda och sannleika. We are a place of worship. Vit är att stå här vid till dig. Everywhere we go we give people an opportunity. Här så vi färdar för folk att möjliga to worship to praise at the low priest and to encounter we have mother the Jesus that love we thank Jesus som älskar oss come on come this lifestyle will do two things had a louis vigier fighting one of two things at the time it will bring persecution on your life to far for philchick outsucked because you are living out a truth that is the ultimate truth to to live with the same like and some it's an ultimate to enter the same like you're living a life with Jesus who is the way the truth and the life to live with Louis and of Jesus is with the very same like and the life and so without even trying you are you are scaring away you are attacking a truth that has been a lie all along so often ever a very witta so as to a time some labor or a same like some other to have really and so that other lifestyle that truth that's not really a truth will get defensive and attack 
which brings persecution. So onur er lustular so halta se live sanlaganon te vera for nerma og så begynner det å søke etter. And that's just the way it is. Så er det bare. I'm not saying that you need to go out and start judging and condemning and pointing people uh, their lifestyles and saying that is wrong, that is not the truth. Du bør ikke for ut og fortelle og peke under og si at det er skeift og fordømme under. That's not our job. Det er ikke akkurat like Luther. We don't need to do that. Det skal vi ikke gjøre. We need to be the, the, the city on the hill. Det skal være oss som er systemet av fjellet. We need to be the light. Because the other thing that happens to hit some hunter is that it brings conviction and conversion. To tell Jeta folk was Sanford over Umven. People that have been outside the city in the darkness for a very long time. Men det som liv ute i mörkret och utan för bogen och länka tog have been running in chaos in this darkness and not even knowing where they're going or where they came from. Det är runt i kaos och i mörkret och vet inte vart det är det vart det är. They'll see that city on a hill. Det så känna stäg i den fjällen om refuge. Och så också dig fullt där stäng. run straight to it. Det kan föra här till. They will run straight to the church. Det föra bort till samkomna. Because they find refuge there. Det här finner det gri. They find love. Det finner kärlega. They find acceptance. Det följas acceptera godkänt. They find the true living God. Det finner att han sannolika, att han verliga livande god. So today, so idag, every day, at like Kvanda, we celebrate Pentecost. So fira vid Kvudusunde. Why? Kvui. Because we are a people that bring hope. Det vet er folk som bär avon. We help restore. Vid hjälpa till att ända bygga. We restore people. We help restore relationships. And the bitch for hold. That is our mandate. That's what we get to do. That's not what we have to do. So stop complaining that no one's coming to Christ around you. So it should claim that the um on the Christus and on the start asking yourself real questions. Spirit is shall not very less burning. Am I living as a city on the hill? Do people even know that they can come to me and seek refuge? Do people even know that they can come to me and meet the Jesus that can give them life and life to the fullest? Start remembering, oh my goodness, I have the Holy of Holies inside of me. I have the very presence of God inside of me. Why wouldn't I want to share that with everyone around me? Because they need him. I needed him. I am so, so thankful that I have Holy Spirit living in me. And this is my prayer and desire for you. That you would not only know, but you would enjoy the Holy Spirit that lives in you. That not only transforms your life, but empowers you to help transform the lives around you. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, <laughs> there are people out there that are living in darkness and don't even know it because they can't see anything else. Would you help me and those listening to be that city on the hill. To be that place of refuge. That will help empower those that were living in darkness. To live life and life to the full. Holy Spirit, would you go into every house right now? Would you fill that place with your presence so that they would know what it's like to encounter you? So, so that they can be excited 
filled with your joy. Finally feeling like they're part of something because of the unity we get in you. And we will feel compelled to go out and share the same joy and unity. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Be blessed. Happy Thank birthday, you. church.